If you've not had a shitty night out like this, then you just haven't had a successful 20s. I'm sorry. Internet art history. This is disgusting, isn't it? We have to confront that fact. No matter how good it feels when you're actually doing it, watching people make out is horrible. It's too organic. It's like watching something gross out of a nature documentary. A fish dying, a lion eating the guts out of a deer, two freshers making out with their hands in each other's hair. Disgusting. If you've ever been drinking in a university or college situation, you'll be familiar with the singular bleakness of this scene. You've got the fact that this girl is drinking two drinks while making out. You've got the weird low tables, the isolated corner seating unit. But most importantly, this whole photo acts as a kind of spectrum of horniness. And that special horniness you only get between the ages of 18 and 21, and you've just discovered drinking. You've got actually making out in public, which is embarrassing. You've got not making out yet, but probably will. And then over there in the corner, you've got absolutely not making out at all and just watching the other people have fun instead. So to get to the heart of this matter, we're going to play a little game I like to call sex or no sex. So first we're going to start with these two who probably had sex. In fact, thinking about it, and the fact this photo was taken about a year and a half ago, they've since probably done it all. Had sex, had sex again, eaten breakfast off each other's bodies, met one set of parents but not the other, had a big hungover argument in Urban Outfitters, DM slid someone else on Instagram, aggressively broken up and blocked each other on Facebook. But for now, tonight, they're probably gonna have sex. And then we have my wild card, these two, who I can't quite decide whether they're gonna have sex or not. All the signs are there that suggest they might have sex. You've got seven empty cups in front of them. They're the intimate poses of two people who might have sex. He's leaning in, flirting, she's leaning into hearing. But I don't know whether full sex, actual sex, is on the cards. My prediction is this. They went home at the end of the night, made out, she got in a cab, he walked home in his t-shirt, and after 48 hours of texting back and forth, they both got a bit bored and avoided each other on campus forever. No sex. And then we have a girl who, no disrespect, is not having sex tonight. And again, this is something that's sort of indicative of the age range of the sex and non-sex habits we have around us. Basically, every party you ever went to before you were 21 was haunted by one girl who was grumpy that she wasn't having fun when everyone else was. And I can predict exactly how the rest of the night's gonna go for her. She's gonna bust between two people who are making out and tell her friend, we need to go now. They're both gonna sober up in a really fluorescent pizza place. One or both of them will cry and they'll take their shoes off to walk home in. And then someone's gonna vomit in a bin that they've left out next to their bed. This is what being young is about. The emotions of your friends stop you from getting shagged. Internet art history.